Well, hi, everybody. This is your stay-at-home grandma, and I'm bringing you the onion and garlic soup. I peeled and chopped. I peeled all my onions, but I didn't chop them. I'm going to chop them while we talk. So we have to use three whole onions and one whole clove of garlic. Whole cloves of garlic, they're already peeled. I just haven't chopped them yet. So how's everybody doing? I am doing fine. Enjoying my day. Now, right next to me is a bowl. It's not a bowl, it's a pot of water that I, because I didn't, I didn't feel like looking for any vegetable broth. I know I have some somewhere, but I just didn't feel like looking for it. I'm being lazy today. Well, not really, but you know. I am um, making this part one, and then I'll show you the finished product when it's all boiled and everything. I'm just giving you all the parts. Anyway, I'm doing fine. This onion and garlic soup is is one of one of the classics of my mother, and I don't think she made it up. I think that um she got it from one of the old ladies in the neighborhood, maybe. But it all started way back when, when I was a wee baby. No, I was a little girl, and I had a very terrible cold. I didn't get many colds or flus or things like that, because my mother kept me pretty much vitamin down, and um. What happened was, it would just wouldn't shake. The mucus, you know, the, the whole sneezing and coughing and everything like that. So, um, my mother decided to make me garlic soup. Well, she made it for me, but she also did a mustard plaster with it and put it all over my chest and everything like that. I finally got the soup because I couldn't wait because she made the best garlic soup. And she would either put fish in it after or, you know, whatever. But um, it was to build my immune system back up. So having said that, you know, I was all excited when she was, when I smelled it because, you know, I'm getting garlic soup. And that was one of my favorite soups that she made. But um, she did fix the soup for me. But I was like really surprised when she started laying out all the towels and everything. And I'm like. That's not how I eat garlic soup. And she's saying, oh, no, you're going to get your plaster, and then, you know, you'll get your soup. But at the end of the night, all of the mucus came up, and all the phlegm came up, and I was able to breathe again. And I didn't go to school the next day, but the day after that, I went to school. So those old people knew what to do. So anyway, this is what I'm doing. So I put in, this is two, and then I'll put the garlic in. And this is the third one. Let me save this piece of onion for the shrimp. Because I think I'm going to put shrimp in it. But the shrimp will cook much later. Come on. Do your stuff. So what's everybody doing today? <clears throat> are you, um, what are you doing? Okay, so that's the last of that. Now. We got three onions in, we'll stuff for about a fourth of an onion. Okay, now, these are the garlic. How can it look so easy on television? When you smash this garlic down.
Now you can cut it up on smaller pieces, but at the end of the day, it all boils down. So So that's that. So now I have two tablespoons of flour that goes in. Okay, now I'm going to use an eighth of a teaspoon of tarragon. Well, if I get it down there and get it out. That's tarragon. I'm going to use a little bit of garlic powder. I'm going to use some celery salt. Just about a teaspoonful. I'm going to use some garlic salt, also about a teaspoonful. Now that teaspoonful, I get it out. Half of a teaspoonful, not a teaspoonful. Sorry about that. Okay, now, turmeric. Half of a teaspoonful as well. going to add some half and half. I'm going to have a, I'll use a half a cup of this. I'm going to eyeball it. A half a cup. And some pepper. And I think the salt is on the stove. Now what we're also going to use um some bread to thicken it up, but that's going to be, I'll tear the bread up while I'm talking to you. So let's put this on the stove now. Okay. Get up. I'll put the salt in when I get over there. Oh, I forgot some red pepper flakes. I almost forgot. Okay, so on the stove it goes. Bring it to a boil. Let's put it. I forgot a couple of other things. Where's the salt at? Oh, here it is. This is the salt. And we need two tablespoons full of butter. But the butter's up here.
I'm going to let that boil. Then I'm just going to tear up the bread and then I will bring you the finished product tomorrow or maybe later on today. But anyway, how's everybody doing? I'm doing fine. I'm using wheat bread and I'm just using any kind of bread that I have. And this is used as a thickener. Move this out the way. Well, hope everybody's being safe and staying in and taking care of their needs as much as possible. We're all in this together. That's one thing that I have to say. It's not about who we are or what we are at this moment. It's about us trying to take care of one another. I'm actually going to um, put some things on here. Um, there's a soup company that's going to give us, I forgot how much percent, but I'll put it on. And they'll give you a percentage if you buy the soup. Um, I did get some free things for some of the neighbors that's coming in next week. So because there are a lot of seniors around. I have family, okay? And I have my daughter who lives around the corner, my granddaughter who lives down the street, my husband. I have a lot of family, but some people do not have any family. And I used to have a food closet when I ran the church, but of course I'm no longer, you know, I retired. So I thought, what could I do? Because, you know, I see them going to the post office by themselves and walking their dog and everything like that. And because the churches are closed down here, many of, I don't think any minister, except maybe in the Catholic church, lives down here. So wanted to know what I could do to probably try to help. And I um, pulled up a little old letter that I had for donations and I started writing companies, you know, and they started writing me back and said, yes, we can send this or no, we can't send this, but we can send coupons. And so I'm going to, because I can't pick them up to go shopping, you know that. So I'm going to go with my daughter to buy a few things or, and, um, you know, place them outside on the sidewalk and send a note around, you know, through Facebook and through the mayor, who's a close friend of mine of the town, so that people can come and get things if they need them. Because, like I said, you know, when some of these old people, and, and don't, be, don't get me wrong, I'm old, I'm 72, but I still drive, kind of. I don't like to drive anymore, but I do drive. So this is some of the bread that's going in. I'll tear the rest of it over here. But I don't like driving that much anymore, but I do drive. So, you know, I just... I can't, you know, I said, God, I can't sit here and just let people just worry about where their next meal is coming from or whatever. I know that some places are still delivering and things like that, but a lot of people don't realize that a lot of older senior citizens don't have Facebook and don't use the internet like that. So, and don't use apps like that. I, for one, don't use a lot of apps, but my granddaughter, now she'll come, my granddaughter's come, and they'll show me how to use them, and, um, or they'll do it for me, but everybody doesn't have that luxury of having family like that, so, you know, having said that, I just kind of, I'm going to get my vitamins. I, I just kind of, you know, had to do that. So that's what I did. That's what I've been doing for the last couple of days is writing to companies. And so far, the companies have either given me, are giving me coupons or, uh, you know, they said, well, we can't do it, but we can do this. So, you know, and some of the companies I already had dealings with when I had the food closet, I'm taking my vitamins that I made. These are the gummy vitamin C. 
Now this is a bitter, but I will we'll make the two ones. Okay. So if you like this, let me unsubscribe. Leave a comment in the comment section. And I'm going to go and I'll bring you part two when it's done. Okay? I love you. Take care. God bless. Stay safe. Love one another. Be kind to one another. And I will see you in the next video.